In the last video, we have learned to find the square root of a number by prime factorization. In this video, we will continue with it. Let's discuss the next question. Find the smallest number by which 9408 must be divided so that it becomes a perfect square. Also find the square root of the number so obtained. So for that, first we have to do the prime factorization of 9408. Let's do the prime factorization. So prime factorization of 9408 is equal to 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 into 7 into 7 into 3. Let's make the pairs of these prime factors. We observe that prime factor 3 does not form a pair. Therefore, we must divide the number by 3 so that the quotient becomes a perfect square. So let's divide 9408 by 3. So we got 3136. Now the prime factorization of 3136 will be 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 into 7 into 7. Here 3 will not be there and each prime factor occurs in pairs. So the square root of 3136 is equal to 2 into 2 into 2 into 7. That is we have to take one factor from each pair and we have to multiply that factors. So when we multiply 2 into 2 into 2 into 7 is equal to 56. The square root of 3136 is equal to 56. Let's discuss the next question. A gardener planted 1521 trees in rows such that the number of rows was equal to the number of plants in each row. Find the number of rows. So here, here we are to let the number of rows is equal to x. Now the number of trees in each row also equal to x because it is given in the question they are equal. So total number of plants is equal to 1521. So x into x that is the number of rows into the number of plants in each row that is equal to 1521. You know x into x is equal to x square. That is x square is equal to 1521. So x is equal to square root of 1521. So we have to find the square root of 1521. So find the prime factorization of 1521 first. So the prime factorization of 1521 is equal to 3 into 3 into 13 into 13. Now take one factor from each pair after making the pairs. So square root of 1521 is equal to 3 into 13 that is equal to 39. So total number of rows is equal to 39. Let's discuss the next question. The area of a square field is 5184 meters square. A rectangular field whose length is twice its breadth has its perimeter equal to the perimeter of the square field. Find the area of the rectangular field. Let us solve this. It is given the area of square field is 5184 meters square. We know that the area of a square is equal to side square. That is side square is equal to 5184. So side is equal to square root of 5184. So that means we have to find the square root of 5184. For that, first we will do the prime factorization. So prime factorization of 5184 is equal to 2 into 2, 2 into 2, 2 into 2, 3 into 3, 3 into 3. Make the pairs and take one factor from each pair that is 
and th then multiply the factors that is 2 into 2 into 2 into 3 into 3 that is equal to 72 meter that is side of sphere field is equal to 72 meter now we have to find out the perimeter of sphere you know perimeter of sphere is equal to 4 into side that is 4 into 72 is equal to 288 meter. It is given in the question the perimeter of rectangle is equal to perimeter of sphere. So perimeter of rectangle is also equal to 288 meter. And it is also given uh, the length of rectangle is twice its breadth. So let breadth is equal to x meter and length is equal to 2x meter. So, perimeter of rectangle, you know the formula is 2 into L plus B, that is equal to 288. Here put L, that is length is equal to 2X and breadth is equal to X. That is 2 into 2X plus X is equal to 288. So, we got the X is equal to 48. That means breadth is equal to 48 meter and length is twice of 48, that is 48 into 2 is equal to 96 meter. We had to find the area of the rectangle. We know that the formula to find the area of rectangle is equal to length into breadth. That is 96 into 48. That is equal to 4608 meter sphere. Now here is your home assignment. Do it. And that's all for today. Thank you.